What's up everyone? This is Tim from Tim Plays Game back with more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Trial of the Sword. Uh, tonight we're going to start on the intermediate uh, level of uh, the Trial of the Sword. Uh, last video we uh, finished up the beginning trial so the power of the Master Sword went up to 40. Uh, after this is done it should go up to 50 so here we go with the middle trial. The first part was easy. This part is going to require a little bit more skill. Uh, mostly with dodging arrows and fighting guardians. But yeah. Alright. Also using the uh, paraglider too. You're going to have to use that a lot. At least in the first part. Yeah, it's, the, it's basically the same... Uh, same uh, deal over again with the, I'm not gonna read I'm not gonna read it all. Fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. Yada yada yada. Don't die. <laughs> That's basically it. Just don't die. You'll you'll be fine. That's really all you gotta focus on. Just try to stay, just try to keep your health up. Try not to get hit. And that's uh, easier said than done, uh, This uh, probably the first part of this test. Alright, so here we are at the middle trials. Okay, first, qu very quickly sail over here, grab this Boko Club. Just because it's the only weapon that, uh, you, it's basically the only weapon they give you. I mean, you have to fight for every other, and dodge arrows, for the love of God, dodge arrows. <laughs> yeah, every other weapon you're probably going to have to fight for in this uh, part. But thankfully, the Boko Club is strong enough to take out uh, Bokoblins without too much effort. And then from this part, you should be able to get a wooden axe. I, I pick up these barrels and move them away from this explosive one, because if you hit it, it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, woodcutter's axe is great for opening these barrels, that and wooden crates. Um, and then you can open those metal crates if you want. There's nothing in them, though. Uh, take this explosive barrel. This is an easy way to get that treasure chest over there and do some damage to these bokoblins. See, place it right. You want to aim for that corner over there in the far in the distance. Uh, use stasis on it and then just wail on it. Like I think one, like two or three times. Yeah, let's let's go three. Yeah, there you go. So once it starts to turn orange, there we go. So it did a little bit of damage to that bokoblin. And it burnt down the and it brought down that treasure chest. Nice. So he's done. Oh, watch out for these guys. Okay, now see this Bokoblin over here? He's got fire arrows. They do a lot of damage. Oh. Nice. And if you fall off a ledge, just uh uh hit X or yeah, X that uh that uh triggers the paraglider. That should get you right back up to the edge, so you don't have to worry about falling. Probably should be using a stronger weapon, but yeah. All right, so that's uh, that's the first part. But uh, there's a lot of good weapons you want to get from here, real quick. Uh, mainly the let's see. First, this treasure chest right here. There's actually two in this room. This is the first one. This one has the soldier's bow. You can get one from the other from the uh, bokoblin that we just uh, beat. Um, other than that, though, uh, definitely grab these uh, wooden barrels and bust them open, get the arrows inside. Fire arrows, that's a big one. So we got two fire arrows we can use. We're going to probably, I think we're going to use one of them right now. Alright, so we got that. We got the soldier's bow equipped. I think we want to go, yeah, right over here. Yeah, let me make sure I got everything before. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, right up here. You can uh, shoot these with a fire arrow. And that'll bring down this treasure chest. Open this up with your foot. <laughs> and we get a soldier's broadsword. Currently one of the strongest weapons we can get in the this part. Actually, I think it's uh, the strongest. Grab this Boko Spear too. Uh, the food items. Hold on to them the best you can, unless you absolutely have to use them. Uh, you will be rewarded later on. There's a cooking pot, I think, like, floor five or six. 
Alright, but that's, uh, I think that's everything you can get in this area, so let's move on. And also, you're going to be using the paraglider a lot. Try to drop down slowly so you don't damage yourself. <laughs> Alright, we're on floor two right now. Okay, let's equip the regular arrows. Okay, we're at the underground floor two. The mill trials. Uh, take this thing out real quick. One shot to its uh, ahem face. That's all you need, and it's done. Yeah, once it's uh, once it's face is, yeah, once you hit it in the face, it basically falls down, and it's gonna be done. You don't have to worry about beating it. And don't be and for the love of God, make sure they don't see you. These uh, whiz robes are annoying as all heck. If they see you, if they don't see you though, then I mean, thankfully you got the sl time slows down when you're uh, paragliding and you pull out your bow. Uh, you can actually uh, you can snipe them pretty well. All right, over here we got a couple bow coblins. Want to take care of them real quick. First, take care of this one up here with the bow. Take that. All right, and then open up these wooden crates with your uh, woodcutter's axe. See what we got. We got some arrows. Perfect. Yeah, arrows are gonna be really helpful in this dungeon. I hope you know how to aim. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this thing's gonna annoy me. This uh, fire keys. This uh, was summoned by that uh, f fire wizard. I just want to get rid of it real quick. Okay. So we got rid of that thing, and then up here, you have your fire arrow. Yeah, you have one left. You're gonna definitely want to use it on this one. And let's open up this treasure chest to see if we get ooh a feathered edge. Nice. So that's a fifteen uh power uh power fifteen sword. Um, you're gonna get a good amount of weapons in this uh in the middle part of this dungeon, but just uh, try to be try to be wi try to be wise uh, be smart about it. Be smart about what you use it on. You know, don't swing at enemies that have shields. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was not as graceful as I wanted it to be. Okay. Let's take him out. Alright. Yeah, I don't want him to drop his weapon. Ooh, ow. Yeah, be careful. And if they drop something, pick it up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, now you got no weapons. Alright. Yeah, they're a lot less intimidating without, uh, without weapons. <laughs> Alright, uh, open up these uh, wooden crates real quick with your woodcutter's axe. Definitely grab this if you didn't grab it. Try to grab it in the first floor of the game. Because opening these crates will do, I mean, trying to open up these crates with any other weapon will do a lot of damage to them. But I think that's everything we can get in this area, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on now. On we go. Alright, this next part, you gotta be quick. I've uh, died here once before. Take out that Epo Coblin with an arrow. You're gonna kinda wanna run around here and, uh, well, fly around here and try to snipe out a few of these uh, Epo Coblins. They have, uh, they have bomb arrows. I don't know who, <laughs> what evil genius game developer gave them bomb arrows. <laughs> yeah, take their bow and arrow if you can. <laughs> yeah, you got bomb arrows, but you don't have a bow. Alright, take them out. I think, yeah, one of them has bomb arrows, another one of them has fire arrows. This guy over here has shock arrows. What the heck? Yeah, get rid of you. Yeah, you're done. And you, you're done. <laughs> and this guy over here, he just has a spear, but I'm not too worried about him. Try to take him out. Oh. Yeah, be careful you don't run out of stamina. That's another thing that. Oh, ow. That's four hearts down. God, I. They put you in here without any clothes, and. Oh, there's another four hearts. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that a lot better than I did last time. Last time they just destroyed me with bomb arrows. I think without any uh, armor or any protection, that's like seven hearts of damage. Even if even if it's a direct or indirect hit. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, let me stay focused here. Got the woodcutter axe. Let's break open this box. Ooh, shock arrows. Good. Uh, 
open this up. We got arrows. And there's a treasure chest somewhere in here. I gotta go look for it in a minute. Now let's go over here and open up these wooden boxes. Ooh, raw meat. Okay. Ooh, bomb arrows. Very nice. We got some Lizzle, uh weapons. We got some more arrows. Okay. I think, yeah, let's get over here. There's some more uh, boxes over here we can open up. Oh, ice arrow. Nice. Oh, yeah, this uh, Bokoblin that was standing right there had an ice arrows, too. <laughs> like, what the heck were they thinking? All right. Um, over here, there is a uh, metal chest you can get. You can either uh, shoot down one of those balloons, but that's kind of kind of risky. You might uh, make the treasure chest fall off that ledge. You can uh, just drop down and use magnesis to take it to get to bring it down, and we get a feathered spear. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, you can see we're uh, kind of amassing a pretty uh, good collection of weapons, which is good because we're gonna need it. Uh, <laughs> A few minutes. I can smell a boss battle coming on. <laughs> All right, on we go. And yep, I was right. Boss battle. Well, lack. Well, for lack of a better term. So yeah, this is one of the damaged guardians we have to take down. Um, the best way to defeat, the fastest way to defeat, it would be to reflect its uh, uh, laser attacks back at with your shield. Unfortunately, that w that's a good way to destroy a shield and also and perhaps destroy you. I mean, one blast from these things, you're done. <laughs> so yeah, you can use bomb arrows, uh, shock arrows to paralyze it. Uh, one thing you want to do, I have stasis ready. Go over there, just start slashing at it. And when it starts to target you, just before it fires its laser, you can use stasis. Let's get a few good shots. There we go. Now wail on it with your sword. All right, and let's see what else we got. So let's, uh, let's use up this Boko Club the best we can, and that's done. Okay, it needs a little more uh, spiked Boko Club. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So pretty easy. I mean, it's just it's it sucks that it, keep, that it keeps you at a distance with its laser attacks. But if you can get around that, this thing's really no problem. It's not like they put an actual guardian in here. That would have been crazy. Alright, drop down here. Let's open up these boxes, see what we get. Right, nice, more arrows. Just what we need. Let's see what else we got. Oh, more boxes over here. And my Sheikah sensor is going off. Means there's a treasure chest somewhere around here. More arrows. God, I could have used these arrows earlier in the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely in this direction. Okay, don't have any fire arrows, so yeah, I don't want to waste my bomb arrow. Let's see if I can climb up there. Nope. All right. Yeah, they thought of everything. Okay, we gotta think of a new way. Ooh, I have an idea. Also, uh, if you want to, you can use these. Uh, Blast barrels, the best to like how I used them earlier on in, at uh, on floor one. Just use stasis and then uh, just wail on them until they just get launched at them. You can launch them at the guardian, uh, but let's try let's try using it right here. Maybe I can get that uh, treasure chest down. Let's see. I don't know how far it's going to be, so let's just let's just go maximum power on this one. There we go, and it drops down, and. Uh, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, so treasure chest is gone. No more treasure chests. Yeah, be careful about that, I guess. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. Uh, I think that was it. And then, um, hmm. Okay, my Sheikah sensor says there's a treasure chest still over here, but it's kind of down there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Um. Just uh, pop a few of these balloons. Okay, yeah, we'll pop a few of these balloons. Alright. 
I gotta float back up there, might be a little easier. One, two, and three. Okay. And be careful that this this one doesn't fall off the cliff either. <laughs> nice. A knight's shield. That's a wow, that's a pretty powerful shield. Not that it's gonna do too much uh, more than any other shield, but that that, that helps. It's nice to have something powerful in this dungeon. <laughs> Alright, and then over here there's a uh, blast barrel hanging from balloons. I guess if you just take out the balloons, uh, you can drop a blast barrel on the Guardian and pick up a good amount of damage. Yeah, my Sheikah sensor says there's a treasure chest over here, but it we saw it fall. It's gone. Yeah, it's not coming back. So, word to the wise, be careful about falling treasure chests. Trying to land safely. Alright, I think that's it. Let's move on. Alright. And we are at the safe point. This is floor, I think, 5? Yep, floor 5. Okay. So definitely, let's, uh, let's, see what we get. let's see what they give us. Falcon bow. Nice. Door number 2 has... Ooh, pants. Finally. Could give me can give me a shirt? No? Alright. Ooh, a knight's broadsword. Okay, so we got uh some pretty good stuff. And oh uh let's get that. Okay, fairy uh flew away. <laughs> Why does everything leave me? <laughs> yeah, so I guess uh next time we're gonna next time we get to one of these safe points we're gonna run over and get that fairy before it does that. Uh let's see what's in these boxes. Let's see, pull out the woodcutter's axe. Get my money's worth out of this crappy little axe. <laughs> Wild berries, some arrows, nice. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, oh, another woodcutter's axe, okay. No thanks, but I already got one. We'll hold on to it just in case. And, ooh, mushrooms, good. Always use these. And there's a cooking pot right over there. We're going to use that in a minute. Let's. What kind of fish we got here? High roll bass. It's pretty basic, but uh, it will offer um, some good recovery if we cook it right. Um, oh, we got a torch. We got some iron shrooms. Let's cut this tree down, get these apples. Oh, all right. I mean, I'm not. I don't even need the wood anyway. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, we got a good amount of food items. Let's uh, let's get cooking. First, let me put on some pants. <laughs> there we go. All right, I just want to equip some good items before I get to the next area. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. All right, let's get cooking. Let me make sure we got everything. I want to make sure there's no eggs and any bird eggs in these trees. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. We have a high roll bass. We got some rush rooms. They can increase speed. Uh, these razor shrooms and the banana, mighty banana, and we'll throw in a drumstick. E and a mushroom. There we go. That should make up something pretty good. Uh, ooh, Mighty Mushroom Skewer. Nice. Alright, what else? Uh, some raw prime meat. Uh, a mushroom. And... Hmm. I'm going to be careful. Yeah, we'll throw in these iron shrooms. And we get a tough mushroom skewer. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so three bass, a palm fruit, and two palm fruit. See what happens. Some fish skewer, nice. And we'll th and for the next dish, uh, hmm. throw these two, this uh, both these stemilla shrooms, uh, raw meat, and a wild berry. 
Ice. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, hmm. You know what? I can use the Rush Room and the Fleet Lotus Seeds. They can be both increase movement speed. We'll throw in some meat, two meat, and a... Wow. Yeah, that's good enough. A hasty meat and mushroom skewer. Nice. All right. Let's uh, finish this up. Just now I want to use the last of it. Uh, simmered fruit. Nice. Okay. Well, that is a good amount of items. I'm going to use these uh, recovery items real quick. Yeah, that should bring me to the max. Kind of where I want to be right now. Before I take on the next part. Alright, that's almost full. Uh, it's almost full. Alright. And I got four other items in case of emergencies, so that's pretty good. Wish I could have caught that fairy, but whatever. Alright guys, it's going to wrap things up for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, next time we're taking on uh, floor six of the medium dungeon and so on. So until then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Games signing off. And have a good night.